This is Chris. This is Chelsea. And this is Ale and Ada episode 11. And this is our channel where we talk about what we're stitching and what we're drinking. Okay. You first this time. I went first last time. Sure. So this one's kind of fun. Chris found this, um, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Um, so I've had one already. This is Sweater Party. Check out that. Pretty fun. So this is by Avery Brewing Company. They're in Boulder, Colorado. And what did I say? They've been brewing since 2003. I was paying attention to the deets on mine, so I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's 2003. This one um, says it's brewed with Rocky Mountain water, malted barley, specialty malts, mulling spices like cinnamon, orange peel, allspice, clove, ginger, hops, and yeast. Can you open that for me? It also has these funny words. Cheery, warming, hullabaloo. <laughs> I did not notice that. Yeah. Um, I really like this. I didn't pour it out. I don't know what it looks like because I've had a couple. It... It's a limited release, so if you see it, grab it. If you think you would be into it, it is like a very caramel brown color. Lots of bubbles. Um, it smells yeasty. It's really good. Yeah. I had like two. Got a lot of foam. That was a bad choice. It's caramely, but you can still, like, you definitely get hops. So it's not like some of the other holiday beers that we've had that are, like, dessert. Like, I didn't think it was hoppy. I, I can still taste the hops. It's got that bitter, it's not bitter like an IPA. Maybe a little. Um, I like it. But it's, you can still yeah. detect the hops. Um, so I really enjoy it. Um. It's very drinkable. It's light. How much? It's like 8%. It's not light. Well, yeah. No. It's deceiving. Eight. Okay. So, that was So, maybe um, pace yourself with this one. I've been into the Christmas sales this year. Yeah? Which I don't really... That's not my, normally my thing. Yeah. And Christmas sales are typically a higher alcohol content because they're usually like special they're made for like celebrations they're not like your everyday yeah mm -hmm. so that's what i'm drinking i recommend um this would pair well with a meal so this is something you could totally sit down with at dinner okay i think i i don't know if we mentioned them or not and i don't think we've ever drank anything on the show well, we may have mentioned them. Rheingeist out of Cincinnati. They're one of my favorite breweries. For sure. At least that we can get In the Midwest. By. Yeah, for sure. But I like IPA, so. They have other stuff, too. They've they, got they're sours, sours, and they've got, um, they, they have, like, a line of, like, they've got a rosé ale, and it's more oh, whiny. Nice. And they've got um, a couple... Uh, what do you call them? Like ciders, like the Slangria. Uh, they have, a they they have, have some a, Gozas. Yeah, so they have all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. but they're really pretty known. Their their flagships are kind of their Truth. The one's called Truth, and the other one's called um, Knowledge. Their Knowledge is their double, and Truth is their whatever is their regular IPA. Um, but I am drinking one of their holiday specials. It's called Dad, and it's funny because we both have clothing sweater type. Yeah. Like, they've got a plaid. Their cans all look like this for the most part, and they've got their symbol, and then they've got, like, something kind of cool going across it. Uh, Dad, Hoppy Holiday Ale. And there's... Oh, here we go. Dad, Hoppy Holiday Ale. Hi, Thirsty. I'm Dad. This, <laughs> this Hoppy Red Ale sports a robust malt bill as ample and snug as a well-worn flannel, throwing on a pair of oversized sneakers that break all known fashion laws, dad mows acres of dank, piney hops <laughs> uphill both ways in the snow. Keep it up, I'll turn this can, or <laughs> keep it up, I'll turn this can around. They're funny. Uh, we looked them up because I had to look up some information. Started, officially started in 05, but available like to the public in 2013. That's what you said. 
They didn't officially start. They, like, their their story, story goes back goes to back, Okay, yeah, I guess. So they started in 05. Kind of. Kind of. But you couldn't get it until 2013. Go to their web. She was reading about it, and I was going to take some notes. But go just go look at their website. It's a very interesting little story that yeah. I probably would like to read more about because there's a lot of, like, there's a lot in there. Yeah. Super cool place. If you're near Cincinnati and you like beer, you need to you go. You need to go. They have the coolest. It's um, it reminds me a lot of Sun King here in Indy, but where, bigger, but much bigger because Sun King's in an old warehouse, mm -hmm. and and Ryan Geist is in an old warehouse, but theirs is like three levels, rooftop bar. You can take your kids. You can in, take your kids, but the kids can't go all the way upstairs. They've got a um, they have a sandwich shop that has a bank it's a sandwich shop like in an old bank and they have a tube system like a pneumatic like tube. a pneumatic tube system over to the distiller or the brewery and you can order food and they send it in a tube we did that yeah and it was really cool that was last that was last year uh yeah, yeah. we were in cincinnati for yeah, the homeschool for convention yeah and we hopped over there um on one of our breaks where we didn't have any like sessions for homeschool stuff Yep. It's great. This is it's very standard, 6%. Mm -hmm. It's not, I mean, it's kind of IPA-ish. It's a nice color. Yeah, we're it's, similar. It's really funny. Like, now that I like the those Christmas, now that I've been drinking more of those Christmas sales, it is kind of Christmassy. Like, it's kind of got, like it has some spices in it or something, but it's it, still. It would go really this, well with ham. This tastes like that flavor watered down but not like literally watered down because that sounds gross it it's tastes like it yeah it tastes like a light version of that sweater party that's what i think because it it's has like a crisper yeah. version um but i think both would go well with like a ham dinner like mm -hmm. that kind of christmas vibe it's uh it's lovely or and drinkable and it's one of my favorite other can arts because it's called dad and it's flannel yeah so if you're somewhere that you can get your hands on some Ryan Geist, mm -hmm. do it. They're pretty, they're pretty available. They're around here. Yeah, we've never had trouble finding. I mean, they have they have some of their some of their stuff that we've had. We had in Cincinnati. To be clear, they don't distribute everything. Yes, correct. They but, they they are a large production. Yeah, they and, had so many options yeah. when we were there, and you had to go to like different. So there's like three different bars on the main level, and they're three, all different. And they're all they, they well, all have different stuff. They all have a few things different, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they all have like a, a core lineup, and then like the one on the left has these two, and the one on the right has these two. And I don't yeah. know what they're. I don't know if they're just trying to spread people out. Like, I don't know, but it was Because it's a cool spot. Yeah. When we were in there, somebody was there have, throwing their kid's first birthday party. Mm -hmm. It was yep. pretty cool. And they had cornhole and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So it, we love it. Yeah. We've talked like for five minutes about it. So Okay. Well, updates. That's what we're drinking. Updates. Uh, we had a great Thanksgiving as well. Okay. It was great given we couldn't do what we usually do. Of course, we're not happy that we didn't get to have a family gathering, but in the interest of protecting everyone we love, we didn't have a big gathering. Um, and we did the best we can, like Zoom calling the cousins yeah. and um, having a Zoom breakfast with his brothers and our um, nephew and our new niece that we just got to see over Zoom. Um, and so it was nice, it was slow. It was a very slow pace, yeah. um, but we had a really good meal. I kind of forgot that Thanksgiving happened. Yeah. And that Christmas is in two three weeks. weeks. Three weeks, yeah. Three weeks, yeah. Um, but yeah, so our Thanksgiving was good. We, we kind of did like a Thanksgiving break with um, Kia and Nathan um, because we know that they're being careful. They know that we're being careful. Our kids are very good friends. So um, we kind of check in with each other very regularly and make sure like you have no exposures. We have no exposures. Okay. Um, but basically like Kia and I stay home. The guys just go to work. They're both very careful at work. So, so we spent a lot of time with them over our Thanksgiving break because he had um, 
Thursday and Friday yeah, off. Yeah, Friday. So we had a long weekend. And we did some... We did lots of stuff. Lots of cooking. You did all kinds of stuff. You did more than I did. Cooking, canning, quilting. Kia taught me to quilt while well, she's teaching me to quilt. Um, yeah, so it was relaxing, but also productive. Like, I feel like I gained some new skills. I feel like the kids had a lot of fun. But, I mean, that's really... And then we just... Today, we wrapped up our... So, we're recording on Friday. Um, today was our last day of school for the year. Because today is day 100. And for the I, year, for the, for the calendar year. For the calendar year. Yeah, we have... Yeah. We have 80, that, we have 80 more days left. So, I we're think. over... Yeah. We're, like, well over our halfway point. Mm -hmm. Which is so cool. Which is... I like to get to day 100 before Christmas. Because then... We just if take I, it all off. Yeah. We're done. So it's going to be weird. Break, we're just going to be reading a lot of Christmas books with our kids. Like our kids will keep reading very regularly and all that stuff, but no more math lessons or reading lessons. Or I, think that, like that. I think that homeschool break feels really weird because you would think that it wouldn't feel like a break, but it does. Like it, it's just different even like when I come home or whatever. Yeah. It does feel lazier. It's slower. Yeah. It's not well. And no, there's nothing wrong with that. You're done. We do you're, different you're doing the things. work, but you've done the schoolwork. It's just yeah. we're done. So it just feels like when you come home, like people are still in jammies and sometimes, sometimes not today. We get dressed most days. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't really be homeschool if we didn't every once in a while just take advantage of jammies. Mm. Yeah. So I guess that's it for updates. Yeah, I don't think. I guess, I mean, I can share it. Will you grab me one? I um, did some more canning. These so are I, updates? Yeah. What do you want? You well, want? I can two different things yeah, that, that I have readily available. Ooh. So some of you, uh, so if good. you're um, a real life friend or family, might be getting one of these for Christmas. You did you share the cherries already? No, the cherries are in the basement. What he and I about? have a good friend, Rachel. Uh, Rachel is another homeschool mom. That's how we all know each... Well, Key and I knew each other before, but we know Rachel because of homeschool. And the three of us click really well. Um, we just always have a good time when we're together. And Rachel has been canning for several years, so she shared some of her wisdom. She canned some cherries with me. Like, we brandied cherries, so for cocktail garnishes. Mm -hmm. um, so those are in the basement. So I don't have those, but these I have yet to carry down to the basement. These two things I did by myself this week. I made um, infused honey. So there's um, lemon and clove and a cinnamon stick in there. And then this is just regular honey. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. And then these also involve honey, but these this is orange spice honey. I, I just think this is pretty. So, um, I basically cooked oranges down in honey and sugar and cinnamon and um, allspice and clove for a long time. And then you can it. Um, I tried it in some tea and all I did was grab, like you literally grab an orange slice, throw it in your teacup, it sweetens your tea, and then you can eat the whole orange. Hmm. Very very excited about these. All my jars sealed like they were supposed to, and I felt very accomplished. So, putting up more food for the winter like I'm uh, Ma Ingalls. Right? I don't Are you talking any... about stitching? Yeah, that's fine. I don't have any fun stuff this at this point. It's fine. You are at work. Am, am I first or are you first? You want me to go first? I can go first. It's fine. You go. Uh, okay. So yes and no, I didn't do some stuff, but I did some stuff. You'll find out. That makes sense. Um, I finished, I think this is, I feel like the last two weeks went by really quick. And we didn't yeah. record last week. But we did put out the bread video. So, right. Finished all the lettering on the anniversary project, the Arwen project. Steph X Stitch or Steph Cross Stitch on Etsy. Yeah, and we've shown the pattern before. Mm -hmm. I don't have it. I don't have it ready. I'm stitching it digital. So I'm sorry. Or the sample. I mean, not the pattern. But um, but yeah, that's all the letters. Gotta start the border. 
I did actually start the border, but I started it wrong. I actually had like five stitches in, but then I realized they were off. So I Oh, really? Off. Yeah. But I finished that. And I made a judgment call. There's supposed to be a period here. I said, I don't want to put it there. I don't know. So what? Who cares? So what? Who cares? Oh, that beer's good. Um, And then the only other thing that I worked on that's not done is Halloween Quaker, Lila Studios. Everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. I need to go get, I need to get my, the rest of my black coffee. We ordered it. It's in. I know. I know it's in. Oh, okay. Um, I worked more on this motif. This is more Blackbird. I just have to finish the innards there. This, it's the done. Innards. It's done down, like, pretty much. Yeah. Like, that whole, there's nothing going in the center, that whole bottom part. And it, look. It's a mirror image, right? I, so. Yeah. And yeah. I said this the other day. I actually, I, okay. I love stitching the Quaker stuff because it is, I said that before, I enjoy knowing that I can just do, like, four and four and get like a chevron and everything but this motif was very boring to me at first compared to the other ones but I then i started once i got it done i was kind of like this is great because i started doing the inside and i really enjoyed oh, it oh you like the middle more than the outside of it i think so i think the, the middle makes it look a lot better i don't know i just like the spacing of it and i so like this the, is blackbird and this is black coffee Blackbird, black coffee. The only thing that's black coffee. And 310. And 310. The only thing that's black coffee on there is the large Quaker motif. And he's stitching this on 32 count McKinney. Yep. I'll write that all down later at some point in my, my planner. Oh, yeah. We did, um, Kia and I. Okay. I will link this below. If you have not seen. You fold it wrong. Sorry. If you've not seen um, Jen Lee from Quirks and Stitches, her. Uh, 24 hours of cross stitch planner. It's amazing guys. Um, it is such a good value for what she gives you. And it's not just for planning a 24 hours of cross stitch. It's everything related to cross stitch. Her, like I would have paid the price she's charging for the whole thing just for the inventory. Like what? it's that good. That good. That's I, all. Oh, sorry. I'm going to link you to her Etsy shop. And if you like, like having a plan, if you have like, if you like writing things out, um, or if you like to write down your progress, um, like journal your progress, highly, highly recommend. Um, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. That's all I have on whips, like actual true whips. Yeah. I have a start and a finish and a fully finished yeah object. he started finished and ffo'd but we can show my whips real quick because that one's super cool and yep. we'll probably want to talk about it for a second so let me show you my whips first um because so i have a quilt in progress and it's at kia and nathan's house so we'll insert a photo somewhere somewhere in here um that you can see what i've done um, so I have that whip, um, but as for my stitching whips, woo -hoo -hoo, this is Hello from Liz Matthews. This is her 2020 Christmas freebie that all you need to do to get your uh, little stitchy paws on it is subscribe to her newsletter. So I'm going to link her Etsy shop below, but also just um, get on her newsletter and you can get this cute little freebie. Um, the model is stitched on 40 count and it makes it small. Um, and it's like a cute little, like a gift tag type thing. Yeah, but 40 count. Yeah. But I went with 14 Whoa. count navy blue Ada with a DMC that's not a white. It's not it's, white. Um, we okay. looked up the name. It's, it's like pink kind of like no, lavender. it's like lavender. That's 3743. Um, and I really like how it's coming across. So I think when I showed it to you guys before, it just said me Christmas. <laughs> you got a little, little Quaker snowflake in there. Yeah, it's almost that snowflake. Quaker almost flake. done. Mm -hmm. Quaker flakes. <laughs> yeah. So I'm almost done. I, I'm trying to decide if I want the border or if I just want to frame it really close. 
around that. What do you think? I don't know. It's a, I mean, I think it would look cute either way. It's a border. Yeah, I mean, it has a border on it, but I could just do a really close frame, like maybe like a fun frame, like a more ornate frame, and not stitch the border. You mean like a frame, like a like a cool frame? Shut up. You said frame like thirty times. Say crack again. Crack. Okay. So that's whip number one. Whip number two has not seen the light of day in a long time. We showed it on our first video, but it has not been shown since. Women of Mayflower? No. I'm only in the mood for Christmas right now. So I brought back Heart in Hand Needle Art Old Blue Eyes. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That had not come out of the whip bin since we showed it on the channel. And basically all I did was I stitched a deer. Yeah, but. But how cute. Oh, he's missing his little white tail. I just noticed that, that I left his tail off. But um, once I put on his tail, all I have to do is the snowman and the bunny because I'm leaving off. I'm leaving off that bottom border just because I don't think, I think it's cute without it. Um, and then I have the buttons. Mm. So um, mm -hmm. I'll probably put the buttons on. <sighs> Super cute. I like snowmen. We don't decorate with Santa much. Um, I'm not bothered by Santa decorations. They're just not my thing. Um, I prefer snowmen because I can leave them up longer. Um, and we don't do Santa in our house with our kids, so. Um, I think, do I have one more whip? No, I have two finishes. That's it? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I had two whips and then <clears throat> two finishes. Um, I think finishes go first. And then FFOs? I think so, but that, right. make, that makes sense anyway, though. Sure. All right, so my first finish that I got, so it was my goal. Lila Studio Seasons Blessings. This is my stitch along with uh, Spunky Gin. They have great She's, patterns. Lila Studio is great. They really are. Um, Spunky Gin, she's stitching in the bluegrass on floss tube. Uh, she and I are doing this one together. Uh, hashtag Kentuckiana Sal on Instagram. So she did, she started here with the winter bird. I started with the fall bird. It was my goal to get this fall bird finished by Thanksgiving. And I finished it three hours before midnight on Wednesday. That's true. I remember that, yeah. Yeah. So ding ding. There he is. It looks like the Black Laker, Black Acre label. I feel like we said oh, that last time. Kind of. Totally looks like the Black Laker. So here's my fall Black, bird. I can't talk. This is my first completed piece on 40 count. This is 40 Count Oaken by Picture This Plus. Oaken. Yeah. I think this guy is pretty cute. Yeah. So obviously I have not ironed this or anything and I don't know how I want to finish it. I'm going to wait until I stitch Winterbird. And then I'm going to decide... Um, I don't know if I want to see about making a pillow, like two little pillows. This is 40 count. Ah, I posted, so small. I posted on Instagram when I finished it. And I think like Steph, um, from just keep stitching, she commented on it and she gave me like three bells, like ding, ding, ding. Welcome Dang. to the 40 count club. It's, it's very small. It's, it's a thing. It's lovely. Um, I really like how the variegation turned out on the bird. It's not coming across very well on no, the camera, it's but it's gray, really but... variegated. Mm -hmm. That is Cole by Weeks Dye Works. You can really, you can see, really see it in the fall. See if it can come Because on the fall, that whole A is like grayed out almost. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah. So but it's, it's the same color. It's just that yep. that's a smaller portion. So it shows up and it's all by itself. The A. This yellow is really variegated. Like that's 
yeah, well, that um, that star is all the same color, but it's whiskey by Weeks Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks. yeah. I, I disagree. I feel like that's not a very whiskey color, but... Well, whatever. I mean, I guess. He's a little darker. Yeah, so I finished this guy, and um, I'll probably start Winterbird this weekend. Okay, the other finish is so recent, it's still in the hoop. Mm. Uh, so, open abode, open road abode needleworks. Um, these are um, the holidays. Uh, little campers. Yeah. Um, so I've now done the two on the front. <laughs> I did the Halloween one, and I just finished the Christmas camper. Cute little thing. So the um, the models are all stitched monochromatic. But I had an eight-year-old girl pick out these colors for me. And this is what she picked. This was her Christmas palette. She wanted the presents to be gold. Um, and she wanted this to be brownish gold. And that's what she picked. And then we liked this wine red. So Burgundy. Burgundy. That's good. Yeah. It's all DMC from Stash. So I don't have it in front of me what it is but, this, but the whole point is you pick because they do monochrome like the chart is in monochrome yeah like it's just a chart like it just shows you the stitches so you pick whatever you want yeah some of them are obvious like you'd pick you'd hopefully pick pink for the flamingo on the on the uh the fourth of, fourth july. of july one but like you could pick whatever you wanted well it's not i, I guess it's not necessarily fourth of july it's just patriotic uh summer well, it's yeah, summer, it's right, summer. Right. I mean, um, so well, I'm going to stitch all four. Well, they say no. It says Fourth of July. Does it? Yeah, it does on the pa on the. Oh, it does say front. July Fourth. Fourth of July, Christmas, and I'd leave Halloween. it out all summer though. What's the other one? Valentine's Day. Valentine's. So that's that'll be the next one I stitch, but I'm not going to start it till after Christmas. But there Ooh. it is. This is 28 count. Um, I had to get up early today. I'm this sorry. is a 28 count um, even weave from Hobby Lobby that I coffee tea dyed. So I did two strands over two. Two over two. So those are, those are my two whips and my two finishes. I guess three whips mm. if you count the quilt. Okay. Okay, so big. Okay. So, okay. So we had access to... Max Stitch? Max Stitch. I think that's what it's called. I couldn't think of what it's called. Uh, and we tried it out. And the first thing, we've been talking and playing with this idea for a while, is it'd be really cool if we made, like, a little freebie. Like, a little freebie chart. Because mm -hmm. I've charted stuff. A couple little things. Your little Final I, Fantasy I charted characters. them. Yeah, but I literally went online and found, like, free, just, like, cross-stitch chart paper. Yeah, grid paper. And I... It's, it was specifically for cross stitch, but, yeah. but I just I just charted it and I charted it with pencil and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I drew a little, I did X's and like circles and like all kinds of weird stuff. So we decided we would try it on the computer and it's real cool. Like it's real fast. And we decided we would might do like a little freebie of something that's Alienata, like kind of like a little logo or something like that. And so... I'm just gonna show it. So this is the whole finished thing, and I cannot take most of the credit for this because I had big help from Kia V mm -hmm. on this one. Yeah. Edit five seconds. Um, maybe. But I had big help from Kia V finishing this because she had a whole bunch of stuff in sash and she was like this would look great and she, she and she just loves doing this and she did it and i didn't get a chance to help too much but here it is <laughs> boom a little logo and it looks like our glasses yeah so we decided we always thought about doing some kind of like beer glass or beer stein or something like that but then we were just chatting and i was like and i was just playing with the the, the little the computer program and we were like, oh, well, maybe we could do our our little chemical glasses. So I did a little chemical glass, and we put a nice little head on it. And 
Uh, I mean, you could do it and whatever, and we're figuring that out. That's in the works. I don't know yeah. how we're going to make this work, but we want this available for anybody who wants to. And you could just do the glass or play with it. I mean, change it around, or if you don't want to, it's still something cool and fun. Charted it, started it, finished it, FFO'd it. And uh, also Kia's idea... We 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 had talked about it was was it a, was it a group decision to put bottle I caps on it? So. It was a group decision to put bottle Here, caps to incorporate the bottle, bottle cap. We can show them to incorporate the bottle cap. Well, we can just do it this way. So. But with, but Kia had the great idea. Oops. Let's just put magnets on there, and so we can switch them out if we want to. So I pick. I just picked a few that we some of them we'd done recently, like the Chimay and the um, the Shoof. Yes. Da Shoof. Dashoof. Dashoof. We did those recently, and I feel like we did the Mad Brew, too. And that's the ghost ship one. That's from, um, that's the pumpkin. Shipyard. Shipyard. So, I... Which I misidentified as New York. Mm. Maine. Well, it's okay. We, we're we not perfect. Uh, and some of these breweries have interesting histories. Hashtag Ryan guys. Hashtag whatever. Yeah. So, Kia um, just had this little She had this thing. little, like, plank thing, and we just... She put some batting behind it, so it's kind of got a little... A little poof to it. A little three-dimensional. And we did it. Mm-hmm. So it and was super fun. Really fun. It's going to sit. We have like a little. We have like a little. We're going to leave right here. We have like a wine rack thingy over here against the wall that holds floss and stuff. And and actually, and, and a bottle of that Vendor Saga right now. Yeah. And so we'll probably stick it right there. Mm -hmm. But Deet's coming. I don't know how. Yeah. I don't know the best way to distribute this. I don't know yet. But it might be... Do you have any ideas? If anybody has any ideas, it might be easy just to save it as a PDF. And if you want it, because I don't know that people will want a whole lot of... I mean, it's it's fun, but, you know, it is specific to Alienata. But if you guys want it, we could probably just, like, email PDF or whatever. So, yeah. but... A little fun, a little designing, a little finishing. Just something to put up. Yeah. And it was fun. I, I stitched this, like... It's not big. It's not a big thing at all, but I mean, we blew through it. I think this is 14 count Deets. 14 count. It's Ada. Ada. Um, I don't know the color. Kia had it. Kia had it. I'm really bad. It's just, and it's a light gray. The DMC, I just used some kind of like golden color. The, the, the white on top is not white. It's like a shimmer white. Um, I should look that up because I actually really like it. And we, we should probably try to find the details on that. 38 something. Yeah. Well, and, and I don't, and I printed it too. And I don't have the chart because I actually, we found out how to print it with all the, the called for, like the called for. What you used. Yeah, what you used. And it's not white, but it's like a shimmery kind of white. It's almost like a, this is, this is where my mind's going. It sounds really weird, but it's almost like a, a like a meringue. I'm serious. Like it's like got a sheen to it. Um. And so, I don't think it, it's not that, but it kind of looks like that. Is that it? I think this is it. That's uh, thirty-eight sixty-five. That sounds kind of right, but it's it's like a shimmery kind of white. So it's it's not quite white. And no. then everything the black is just three. It's three ten. It's three ten. So I'll stop talking. I've talked enough. I kept talking. Um, just realized I have some haul, but it's over by you. I got my um, November Be Stitch Me. No, it's over there. Under all that stuff. Sorry, I'm super prepared. That and the fabric. So I um, am part of the Be Stitch Me. Edit? Yeah. Okay. Um, fabric of the Month Club and the Silks. Silk of the Month Club. Here, I'll get the silks out. Yeah. So I, you can alternate between color and neutral. You could do all neutral or all colorful. Mm -hmm. I'm alternating. So November was neutral. This is called Peanut. And I got it in a 32 count Lugana. Because that's something that either of us would be happy to stitch on. Because he prefers like even weave um, over linen. So this is a really nice oh, show. neutral. There's not a whole lot of modeling in it at all. This is coming, it's coming across. I'm just, true. I'm just showing. Yeah. We'll show so, you. So we've lots of nice neutral silks. 
um, this time. So this one is called Cacao. This is Biscotti. I haven't made any Biscotti lately. I should make no. some. Yeah, we haven't made any in a long time. We haven't made Biscotti in a minute. Yeah. Maybe a good baking video. Maybe. Would you guys like to learn how to make biscotti? And how to make twice baked cookies? Yeah, that's what they They're are. Twice baked cookies. This is black walnut. Biscotti would be fun though, because people, like you made bagels, and that's kind of one thing that like, like who makes bagels, right? So biscotti, like nobody makes them, they buy them. Yeah. You know? This is called naked. And last one, cinnamon. So that's what I got for November. November be stitch me. I'm just, what am I holding? Oh, sorry. I thought I had another one. Mm -hmm. Keep that nope. it. That's it. So haul, some finishes. Uh, oh, I wanted to talk about plans because I still want to do the turkeys. And <laughs> I fully intended to start the turkeys until I had max stitch in my hand. And then that kind of took on a life of its own. And it happened in like do Are you gonna stitch like... me Christmas? Oh, um maybe there's and I'll have to look it up, but there is a Quaker snowflake pattern. Liz hers? I think I I think that tech guy is gonna do it. He yeah, he is. And I think they showed it and I thought he about doing it too. Because I really liked it. But there were a couple, but I think I could do that. I don't like stitching snow. We've talked about this. I don't care for stitching like snowy bottom, like, you know, like, like landscape stuff, but yeah, just like white filler is not my thing, but like, a, but like a snowflake would be doable, especially if you do it maybe in a different color. Like, like I would, I the white and navy blue option. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to do a, a monochrome anyway. So I like yeah. monochrome. Well, maybe we can get that for you. So. That's a plan, and I really want to start the turkeys. Then that that didn't happen, but we'll get there eventually. My plan. Plan to I'm start, gonna start winter bird. Winter bird, and I'm going. I'm hopefully maybe finish Liz's the, freebie. The Christmas, yeah. Um, Merry Christmas. And then I have a couple other whips that I may grab because on New Year's Eve, Kia and I are doing twelve starts in twelve hours, like noon to midnight, like a countdown. And I have, I bought my chart for that, which I'm going to show you guys later. I'll show you those plans later. Um, and so I have them all picked out that I need to kit up. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to do another, other than the winter bird, I don't know that I'm going to do another new start before Christmas. Um, there is a, the heart and hand winter, like, etching. Mm that I want to do, but that one's like winter, not Christmas. So I don't care when I start it. I just want to do it. So those are my plans. That's it. I think. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So we hope you guys have a great week. Hope, Wrapping up with um, a sip left. What? I just have a sip left. Oh uh, yeah. Um, if you guys celebrate Advent stuff, I hope you guys are having fun with your families. Or whatever um, you're doing, or Hanukkah, or Hanukkah whatever the holidays are. Hanukkah is coming up Gwanza. quick. Um, we what we usually recognize, we have a menorah up in the house, so mm -hmm. we're going to light the Hanukkah candles this year. Mm -hmm. um, we have friends that... They like guys. They let, well, I was going to say they invited, like we, I had never done anything Hanukkah until last year. When we got to go over and do Hanukkah with Josh and Molly. Yeah, shout out Josh and Molly. We're okay. obviously, we're probably, well, I highly doubt we'll go to the, last year they we went made us a awesome. gorgeous Hanukkah meal. Lockheeds are where it's at. Mm. Like, all Lockheeds. And they taught our kids a lot about Hanukkah. Like, they had picture books out for our kids and taught them the We did all the Hanukkah things. It the was dreidel. Like, oh, that was so fun. We lit it and they did the traditional, they did like a traditional prayer thing. It was so fun. Yeah, like, which I really cool. would like to learn how to do. Cool. Um, So we bought a menorah so that this year we could light the candles in our home. And keeps calling it a... Which harmonica. Calling? Harmonica. She was calling it, can we light the harmonica? Yeah. So our kids are patiently waiting... Mm -hmm to put on our uh, the first Hanukkah candles. Yeah. So um, 
I'd really love if you'd share with us some of the fun traditions you guys have going on in mm -hmm. your house. So we're doing Advent and we're going to light Hanukkah candles. So we have fun with it. Happy holiday start. Happy mm -hmm. Advent. And we'll hopefully not be disrupted. We probably won't put one out Christmas Eve because that's a Thursday. So we probably won't record Christmas Eve is what I'm saying. Yeah, we'll but probably we'll, take a week we'll off. We'll do a couple weeks here. For Christmas. So. But let me know if you have any baking video requests. Or Christmas beers. Ooh, yeah. Just whatever. Just talk to us. We like it. Yeah. Talk to us in the comments about Christmas. All right. Have a great week, guys. Cheers.